Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? Do you get what you're hoping for? When you look behind you, there's no open doors. What are you hoping for? Do you know? Once we were standing still in time Chasing the fantasies that filled our minds You knew how I loved you but my spirit was free Laughing at the questions that you once asked of me Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? Do you get what you're hoping for? When you look behind you, there's no open doors. What are you hoping for? Do you know now, looking back at all we've had? We let so many dreams just slip through our hands. Why must we wait so long before we see? How sad the answers to those questions can be. Do you know where you're going to? Do you like the things that life is showing you? Where are you going to? Do you know? Fashion it! Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, greetings, salutations. It is your girl, Passion. No last necessary. Say it with me. No last necessary. Not to be remixed or remade. Today's Song to Yourself Saturday is... The theme from Mahogany, Do You Know Where You're Going To? The artist is Diana Ross. I do not own the rights to this song. I decided to sing this song to myself today because I think that it is important to check in with yourself. The other day I put up a message and I asked you, you know, I implored you to check in. Check on somebody that you haven't checked on in a while. Reach out. See how they're doing. Send a quick text, right? But for all the people that are in your phone number list, that you didn't reach out to. There's one person that's not in your phone number list that you can always reach out to and that's yourself, right? Check in with yourself. So it is Q4, right? And so we have three months left in 2020. 2020 has been interesting. It has been unkind to some. It has been an awakening for some. It has been um, navigation through very, very, very rough um, and troublesome waters. And we're in the fourth quarter. Now, I'm not a basketball uh, impresario. I don't know a whole lot of stuff, right? But I know how to watch it real good. And I have seen teams that were down. They had an extreme deficit going into Q4. And not only did they win, but they spanked the other team. And this is your opportunity, Passion, is to take Q4 and spank 2020. Cut off what you need to cut off. Let go of what you need to let go of. Be free of what you need to be free from, right? All of the misery, all of the sadness, all of the depression, all of the things that make you unhappy, displeased, disgusted in 2020. Leave that in September and prior. You have October, November, and December. Do something amazing. And if you're not sure what you're going to do, that's okay as long as you're drive is to do something if you don't know what you're going to do take this time to figure it out but do not be um, impeded or hindered or stalled or lost in what 2020 negatively represented for you in q4 decide where you're going ask yourself do you know where you're going um and if you like what life is showing you and if you don't do something about it 
and be at that place where, you know what, yes, I do get what I'm hoping for. And when I look behind me, there's no open door, but that's okay because I'm not going backward anyway. So I'm not going to say too much more because I don't want to be late to work. And I got about 10 minutes to get there. So you go forth. You be great. You make Q4 amazing. Be passionate about it. And the surprise is what I just was telling you, right, to let go of some things. I'm bald headed, y'all. <laughs> for those of you who've been riding with me for a long time, you know that um, I'm good for chopping my hair all the way off. This is, I think, the lowest I've ever gone. Um, I'm making my changes. I implore you to make yours. I'll see you on the other side.